video I'm going to look at how to move uh, an enemy sprite around the screen without any inputs from you so we're going to program the movement of the enemy. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a new sprite. Uh, the sprite I'm going to use is going to be a ball sprite like that and I want it to start right down here in the left corner. In fact I'm going to look in the information button here at what that coordinate is. It is minus 217 on the X and minus 148 on the Y and I'm going to grab a block from his motion tab that says glide to those coordinates. You'll notice they're automatically being put in. Wherever you place this sprite, it updates these numbers. So even though I've moved it and I go and grab the same block, can you see the numbers have changed? Just so you can watch it carefully when I move it again. And when I drop it, those numbers update. And so far we've got glide to here glide to the left, top left, glide to the top right, let's go to the bottom right, and then we will go back to the start. Now I'm not going to actually place it there and grab another block because I want these instructions to repeat. So I want it to start this, this one, this one, this one, and then this one. It will do each one of those in order. So let's see what that looks like when I click the go button. So I click go and you can see it moves around the screen, but it doesn't go back to the start. And that's because I only does those instructions once and I want it to do it over and over and over again. So I'm going to go into my control and I'm going to get a forever loop and I'm going to place all of those instructions inside the forever loop. So let's see what happens now. Right, you can see that the whole loop is being completed. And it's not just going around the loop once, it's going round and round and round because it's keep following these instructions in order. So it goes bottom left, top left, top right, bottom right, and then back to the start again. Now, that's how we've got our enemy to move. Check out one of my other videos if you want to look at how to detect a collision between our enemy and our controlled sprite.